Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the mining news flash today with our Cisco development, Chesapeake Gold, Copper Mountain Mining, Max Silver, and Trillium Gold Mines here on Commodity TV. Our Cisco development announced three results from the 2021 exploration and category conversion drill campaign at its Caribou Gold project in central British Columbia. A total of 109 drill holes comprising 47,500 meters were drilled. Visible gold was observed in many holes, including results of 91.6 grams gold per ton over 0.6 meters and over 126 grams gold per ton over half a meter. The absolute highlight was the durational Wien corridor, which returned 10.85 grams gold per ton over 14.25 meters. Thus, the past zero program was successful in delineating and extending known Wien corridors with high-grade gold assays to support the feasibility study and ongoing mine planning. Planning. With the help of the last holes of the past drill campaign, Chesapeake Gold is completing its infill drilling campaign at Metatis, which delivered excellent results. This is because the grades of the mineralization intersected. In intrusive rocks are on average more than 22% higher. For example, one drill hole intersected an interval of 357 meters at 1.43 grams gold equivalent per ton. The results serve as confirmation that the intrusive rocks have much higher grades than indicated by the previous model. This should have a very positive impact on the new resource estimate, mine plan and upcoming pre-feasibility study. A difficult Q1 2022, largely due to temporary impacts on production and costs, is behind Copper Mountain Mining. The lower production was the result of reduced mill throughput and grade, as they had to continue to operate the secondary crusher at a lower capacity due to the damaged main shaft, which resulting in a low and very coarse feed to the mill. This problem was, has now been corrected. A new main well was installed in early April and the secondary crusher is again operating at full capacity. A replacement well also has been purchased and is scheduled for delivery in August. With the newly commissioned third ball mill up and running and the secondary crusher fully operational, again Copper Mountain Mining is ramping up the mill circuit to full capacity of 45,000 tons per day and expects to consistently achieve this level by the end of 2022. Higher grade ore from phase 4 of the main Copper Mountain mining pit is planned for the second half of 2022, with the majority of the feed coming from the newly developed North pit by the second quarter. The company expects the second quarter to improve over the first quarter and the second half of the year to be significantly stronger than the first half. Nonetheless, Copper Mart Mining is increasing its all-in sustaining costs guidance for 2022 to $2.25 to $2.75 per pound copper to account for first quarter 22 uh, results and global inflationary pressures. Despite all of these adverse events, the extensive exploration program has been completed and work is currently underway to update the mineral reserve and mineral resource estimate with a new mine life plan that will include an expansion study. All of this work is proceeding on schedule until mid-2022. With satisfactory tonnage values and good grades, the Juana Sipio joint venture project of Max Silver and Fresnio has been self-financing to date without the need for additional capital injections. This is according to Q1 production data from Juana Sipio. A total of nearly 145,500 tons of mineralized material was processed at an average ore grade of 597 grams silver per ton. This brought total production to 2.4 million silver ounces and approximately 5,840 gold ounces. Meanwhile, Fresnier reports good progress towards obtaining regulatory approval to connect the, to the power grid by mid-year. Trillium Gold signed an amended definitive agreement for Eastern Vision properties in the Confederation Lake in Ontario. The definitive agreement has been amended to include approximately 14,000 hectares between the Freda Confederation North and Confederation South properties, giving Trillium Gold control over a significant portion of the Confederation Lake Assemblage and creating a contiguous land package extending over more than 100 kilometers of favorable structures located within strike of Kinroads Gold's Dixie deposit and Evolution Mining's Red Lake operation. The definitive agreement as drafted provides for the issuance of 2.9 million common shares of Trillium Gold, various cash payments and a royalty acquisition agreement with the counterparties. Please read the disclaimer now superimposed. The shares discussed are or may become part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate and I'm a shareholder in all companies. Thanks for watching us and 
Bye bye from Switzerland.